<laughs> How are things looking tonight, Klaus? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Chats with Vlad. Episode lucky number 13. <laughs> Sorry about the long intro, but I was feeling suspenseful tonight. Ah, what to talk about? <laughs> what to talk about? How about... We talk about greed. <laughs> ah, in episode two, I told you folks that I'm here to spread my word. I'm here for a message, not to make money, but I thought about it. <laughs> I got a little bit greedy. <laughs> not to say I would ever cross my morals or break my rules. I would not let one tell me what to say or where to go. I believe in freedom first and foremost. Freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom to be. And I am. Once upon a time, there was a wise man that said, if I'm not myself, then who am I? <laughs> Think about it. Uh, I remember another line from a movie long ago. Wherever you are, wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> well, I got copyright claims on several of my videos, and I looked at them and I can't figure out for the life of me why on some of them in other videos I would have swore I would have gotten one, and I didn't. Such a mysterious, magical thing, copyright claims. Well, old Vlad just wanted to come out and say, like I always say, everything can be talked about and everything can be debated 
and many things are negotiable. I wouldn't break my morals or my values. But if the right company came along and wanted to sponsor me, wanted to sponsor a fellow like me, but it would have to be something dark, something funny, and something brutal. <laughs> Uh, old Vlad's not up beyond making money, but I see a lot of greed going around everywhere. People are trying to get money from any source they can, even if they have to drag it from you. Uh, and we're going to transition, though, from greed to another subject. But first, let me talk about what greed did. Once upon a time, there's a company that was run by a huge rat. This company decided they wanted to buy everything. Adventurers with whips and soldiers in spacesuits firing guns and flying in fighter jets in space. Now they want to buy up all the superheroes. That evil fucking rat. I wish every one of the corporate sponsors would fucking drop dead before they ruin other things. Now because they like to sue and because they like to be greedy. I'm not going to say their name. But how many big rats do you know that run corporations, that ruin superheroes, that ruin space sagas, and that even managed to stick their dick in the pudding when it came to archaeology? <laughs> Thanks a lot. We all appreciate the big rat destroying childhood dreams. Let me tell you something, boys and girls. Most of us come home from work at night, from days of work that aren't always so fresh and aren't always April spraying and clean. No. We get home. We take a shower. We make something to eat, curl up on the couch, and then watch a little TV so that maybe a couple hours we can be somewhere else. We can be in space. Or we can see what it's like to be a snarky superhero. But Hollywood, they're not being original anymore. They need to come up with new ideas. Some of the best shows that I've seen lately have been on Netflix and they've been South Korean. There's nothing wrong with that, mind you. Sweet Home was an excellent show. And Hellbound, I can't wait for the second season. And even Squid Games had a lot to offer. But where are these other ideas? You see, I got copyright claims. And I watched videos on it. And they say that one should come out with original content. Well, boys and girls, how much more fucking original do I have to get? I think I'm pretty original. Now, if I can be this original, then why can't Hollywood? Why can't we come out with some good shows and some good things? All they keep doing are rehashing and rebooting old things. We don't want to see that. Even though I'm curious about it chapter three that may or may not be coming i still have to ask myself why why do they need to do that why couldn't they just come up with something original something new you know all stories on this planet that have been ever told in the history of man can stem from one of three types of stories So if you're looking to be completely and utterly original, good luck with that one. Why don't you just work on a good story that amuses me? 
because right now I'm not amused. I mean, look what I'm doing right now. Do I look like I'm chilling and Netflixing? Now then, that I've said my piece about that, I want you to consider and contemplate this, though. I did hear today about a new show coming out on Hulu. And it's not even subtitled. <laughs> I think it could be good. I saw the trailer for it, and I've put the trailer on my playlist of things to watch. Which, by the way, boys and girls, I've redone my playlist, so the more important things are at top now. <laughs> but I digress. Back to the subject at hand. Hulu is coming out with a Hellraiser series. That's right, boys and girls, you heard me right. Hulu is going to have a Hellraiser. <laughs> The pain and suffering will be exquisite. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I've often fantasized and daydreamed about getting my hands on one of those cubes. You see, boys and girls, they say that when you go to hell, that you suffer. But I think it would be better to be amused in hell than to be bored in heaven. I mean, seriously, have you listened to some of the things? I mean, with the rules you'd have to follow, who the hell would want eternity like that, dude? I'd rather go to hell. That way I had a chance of taking over. <laughs> Look out, Lucifer. Vlad's coming for you. <laughs> uh, originality. That's what we need. We need more shows like Night Sky. That's a good show. I'm waiting for the second season of that. That was from Amazon Prime. It has a lot of potential. It's about portal travel and kicking it on a, another planet. <laughs> Only some old people would have a portal for 30 years and use it as a back porch. <laughs> I fucking love it. Anyway, boys and girls, this is what I want you to think about tonight before Slap Happy here sends us on our way what kind of shows would you like to see made ah <laughs> uh, yes think about it 